Hello, everybody, and welcome to Chrono Plays Loot Crate. It is March 2015, and today's Loot Crate, I, as tradition dictates for me, I don't know what the theme is, uh, but a friend of mine kind of ruined it for me a little bit, a little tiny little bit, bit, and I know it has something to do with Marvel, so I'm thinking superheroes or comic books, that kind of thing. So... Let's start out by taking a look at the box, see if there's anything special about the box. Nope, nothing special about the box. Let's open it up and see what's inside. Outside of the fact that this is actually kind of a tiny loot crate. Hmm. Anyways, let's open it up and see what's inside. We have... It's a keyboard. <laughs> it's a standard QWERTY keyboard with strange colorations. Eh, we'll look at that in more detail later right now we have <laughs> okay that's cute that is very very cute it's uh, james bond complaining that his martini is stirred not shaken <laughs> that is cute that is very cute i like that shirt and it feels a lot thicker than their normal shirts so i think they're up in the quality of their shirts cool Always good to know. All right, moving on. We have a Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. EFX collectible something or other. I thought it was like an ID badge at first, but no, this is most definitely not an ID badge. I know it's a collectible, and I'm about to open it, but I want to know what the hell it is. Come on, open. Open! There we go. It is... It is an ID badge. A very, very interesting looking shiny ID badge. Let's see. Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Lanyard. Yeah, it's the lanyard. <laughs> Anybody who watches the show would get that joke. Um, yeah, this guy is always like talking about getting them lanyards after the whole Captain America and the... What is that? The... the Winter Soldier, that's it. Yeah, that's that's what that is. That's actually kind of cool. I like that. All right, then we have something that is very classified. Field notes, confidential. I'm not allowed to show this. Yeah, right. 48-page uh, memo book. 48-page memo book. I would assume that these are straight up. They're graph paper. Okay. So for all those math people that have to keep their top secret notes... There you go. Is this one also graph paper? No, this one is normal paper. It is normal lined paper. Okay, so we have, you know, the, the, the math top secret agents, and then we have the regular top secret agents. Trippy. That's actually kind of neat. Apparently, this is a whole spy thing, not a superhero or comic book thing that I was thinking. Ah, we have... Oh, it's a lanyard string thing for eh, this that's that's what that is it's just the string for the lanyard uh i'm curious what this thing is it is stealth wristwatch blink time oh that's badass actually <laughs> 227 what the hell is 227 well, I think I'm fairly sure. Okay. I can actually see it in the viewfinder better than I can see it in reality. That's saying 632 and 227. Is that supposed to be the date or something? What is the 227 part? I have no fucking clue what I'm seeing here. I'm not 100% sure. Are there instructions? Displays the date. Press the middle bu middle button section of the watch, and the time will be displayed. Setting time, date, and seconds. Uh, so, yes, apparently it is time, date, and then seconds that it shows. So you press it once. You get the time, which is not accurate, of course. You get the date, which is totally not accurate. And then you get the seconds, which strikes me as weird, but uh, whatever. Um, that's 
still actually pretty cool. I mean, I have a watch. It's a lot fancier, but that's still pretty cool. Um, neat. I'm going to qualify that as neat and move on. This is one of those emergency rope wristband things. Like it unfolds and it's like 12 feet of rope or something like that. It's for like uh, emergency situations, like climbers wear these or something like that. I think that's what they're always advertised as when I see them on uh, like the Quartermaster website. I've always wanted to buy one of these, but I never, I, I never actually had a use for one. I could never think of a good use for them, so I never actually bought one. Well, now I have one. Okay, what else we got? We got Spy Mad Libs. Super silly fill in the blanks. Yeah, standard Mad Lib thing, how things work. A relatively good way to uh, learn vocabulary. Uh, every... as ah, in cursive. I can barely read cursive anymore. I haven't read cursive since... Junior high? Elementary school? Every stinky spy needs a pair of x-ray baseballs, an invisible penguin, and a spy mobile equipped with all the most silly features. Moving on. That's a hell of a lot more tame than I normally see when it comes to Mad Libs. <clears throat> what are you? Uh, Ninjak, number one. Join all-star creators Matt Kindit, hmm. Clayman, and Butch Juice. Okay. For one of the year's biggest comic book milestones as Colin King, a.k.a. the Masked Intelligence operated operation operative named code or code named ninjack man i can't read right now begins the hunt for the shadow seven a secret cabal of shinobi masters and mysterious ties to his strange and tragic oh with mysterious ties to a strange and tragic past see i told you i can't read today um it is for a digital comic book okay um, can't say I give a shit. So, anybody that did see that co that uh, code on the back, rock on. Uh, bloop. What do we got here? For more paracord action, go to lootcrate.com forward slash paracord. Yeah, that's that thing. Um, your mission, should you choose to accept it, except it will have you traveling through uncharted wilderness in the redacted region of redacted. In this package, you will find a paracord survival bracelet. These are available exclusively to agents of loot. So it may draw some attention or, you know, just go to the quartermaster website and you can buy a whole bunch of them, but it's more than just fashionable. Really? It's orange and black. I don't think that qualifies as fashionable outside of October, but it is more than just fashionable. It's made of military-grade parachute cord and could actually save your life. That's actually what they're advertised for. Uh, the paracord survival bracelet can make a tourniquet, build a snare, be used as a fishing line, and more. That's some thick fishing line. Uh, Okie dokie. Moving on, we will get to that here shortly. Let's go with the thing that's underneath everything else. We have an Orphan Black comic book that I have no idea about. I don't know. It says Sarah at the bottom, and it has some person that I don't recognize. Uh, it's a comic book. There's another comic book in here. Okay. Um, hmm, I'll have to read that later. Uh, then we have the Loot Crate pin that is standard, of course, for Loot Crate. We have all these X-ray stuff. Um, is that a shoe? Yes, that is a shoe with a knife in it. Too bad it's not a shoe with a phone in it. We got a pen, a lighter, a watch, and sunglasses. Hmm. Alrighty then. <clears throat> and then let's take a look at the last thing, which of course is the book. The Loot Crate Covert. Okay, so apparently that's the theme, is covert. Uh, and then we have all the stuff that was on the pin that I just went over. Ah, just a drink. A martini, shaken, not stirred. Okay. <laughs> if you are reading this message, Agent 1337, 
your covert status has been compromised and we cannot send backup. Well, it doesn't help that I'm reading this on camera. However, we are able to get this loot crate to you before our contact line went dark. Well, that would explain why it came so much earlier than it usually does. Hmm. Uh, enclosed, you will find all the tools necessary to get back to HQ with not only your life, but with valuable intel intact as well. Yeah, I got nothing with that one. I have no intel whatsoever. My brain is an empty, clean slate. It's, there's nothing there. The odds are against you, but with correct cool tools and your sharpest wit, <clears throat> well, we're screwed now, If they're depending on my wit. We should meet again in the near future. Good luck and geek speed. Oh, God, moving along. Oh, look, it's those sunglasses everybody made fun of. <laughs> oh, I actually wore that shirt one day at work. Everybody loved it. I love that shirt. That shirt is awesome. Silver Screen Spies, so we got a uh, story about it. Austin Powers, International Man of Mystery. Yeah, that's not a spy movie. That's a joke. Well, that's a comedy movie. That's what I mean. Uh, Staying Gold with Metal Gear Through the Years, so we got a history of Metal, metal Gear. Interesting. Uh, the Mega Crate has a Razer laptop, a tablet, a bag, a hell of a watch. Oh, that's one of those Moto G things, isn't it? Uh, the Moto 360. Yeah, that's one of those smart watches. It's kind of like my watch, just round. As far as I know, that's the only difference. Um, mm, looks like the same price, too. Huh. All right. And then inside, we got our exclusive Bond t-shirt with depressed chibi Bond. Then we got a stealth watch. I mean, I guess... It says blink time right there. Does it actually say that? No, it does not. Good. Okay. So, uh, yeah, it's a stealth watch that's very clearly on your wrist. Uh, we got Spy Mad Libs, the exclusive replica Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. lanyard, which I wonder if I could read that QR code. Hmm. Then we got the exclusive Paracord survival bracelet. I think it's exclusive because it's got that thing on it. Bloop. Uh, and then, ooh, there we go. Exclusive or Orphan Black comic book. Haven't heard of this awesome Canadian sci-fi series about a girl and her clone doppelgangers, plural. Well, come read all about it with ex this exclusive Loot Crate cover variant of the very first issue of Orphan Black. I may do that. And then, of course, there's the special agent dossier notebook to pack. Okay, that's actually pretty neat. I'm still a little disappointed that the shoe wasn't a phone. Hmm, anyways. All right, so let's take a look at this. This is a computer. Convert. Covert Computer Pro. Uh, Aniv. Rewind, play, convert. I have no idea what Aniv means. Uh, and we got encrypted login name. Somebody decided not to type it in. And the password is just the password. And then we have a barcode, which I don't know what it is. I don't know. And then, of course, we have the keyboard, which... Why, oh, why are some of these letters a different color? I mean, look at that thing. Like, the Q is red, but the W is black. It's not based on vowels. I don't know, maybe it's a uh, like puzzle-type thing. I bet you that QR code does something interesting, and I don't have my phone with me to look. Um, yeah, I might have to start looking into these, these codes and such to see if they do anything. I'm curious if that one does something. I'm wondering if my, I'm wondering if my phone has the ability to even know what that is. <laughs> that Google Goggles thing is really impressive, but uh, it can't do everything. In fact, it doesn't do much of anything unless it's very exact in what it does. Well, anyways, so that is the Covert Loot Crate for, yeah, March 2015. I will see you guys in the next episode. And as always, keep playing the game and have fun. And apparently keep your head down.